And now, live from downtown Clearwater, it's the Bill Cochran Show on Tampa Bay's Tan Talk Radio Network. Call in locally in Pinellas County, 727-441-3000. Anywhere else, toll free, 1-866-826-1340. And now, here's your host, Bill Cochran. Hello, Americans. It's Friday. Clearwater, Florida, recording live downtown Clearwater. If you want to give us a call this evening, we're live. You can call us. Our president's out of the country right now. I met Ronald Reagan years ago over at St. Pete Clearwater Airport out there on the ramp. He was flying in a United Airline airplane. He was governor of California at the time and decided he wanted to run for president. I asked him for his autograph and I had a pen and a paper and he was smart. He had a card with his signature already on it, written out, handed it to me, smiled. I looked at a smile of a man that looked sincere, very sincere. My daughter met Bill Clinton a few years back and she was up in upstate New York, Saranac Lake, with Hillary was up there doing something. I have no idea what. I think it might have been when she was running for senator of New York. Bill Clinton took my daughter's hand and wouldn't let go. He looked her in the eye and smiled. And she said he was kind of scary. He was the president, past president at the time. But then again, maybe he was the president. I don't, I don't remember. But Tanya, if you want to give me a call, you can, you can make that um, what I just said and tell me a little bit of that story because I, I saw a man in Reagan that was totally different than most presidents that have ever been president since that. President Reagan was um, a man that seemed down to earth, down to earth. We knew his past. We knew his history as a, as a man. We knew he was a governor. We knew he had a ranch in California. We knew he was a movie star, an actor. You know, the Democrats painted him as a warmonger. They said he was a warmonger. They said he was going to be the worst president to go down in history. But he wasn't. I think he was probably one of the best ones that have ever sat there up in the White House in this century. And I miss Ronald Reagan. I miss people like Ronald Reagan. I miss John Wayne. I miss movie stars that were tough. You know, our politicians today don't seem as tough as Ronald Reagan was. Russia's not afraid of us. Look at what's happening over in Russia right now. Look at how they're in the Ukraine while President Obama is heading to Malaysia tomorrow. He's heading to Malaysia and they're all worried about this airplane that was lost with 181 Chinese nationals and Wondering what happened to that airplane. They spent over, I don't know, 50, how many days was it, Cedric? Do you know how many? I don't know if the search is over or is it still going on. How are you tonight, Cedric? I, I, I am well. Let me check on that right now because I'm not sure. I, I think they might still be searching. I think some countries have, have given up and, and there, uh, China, I think, is still searching, but I'm going to check. Do you think they'll find it? No. No, I don't. No. Never? No. N- never. <laughs> Okay, you check. Yep. Can, can you play a uh, play me a song right now? Because um, hold okay, on, a, hold see. on a second. I'll I'll get this song. Okay, we've got some songs we play. Uh, this one's going to be dedicated to Darren out in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. <laughs> oh wow! Number three. <laughs> this is. She loves you, yeah, yeah. Oh. Al Gore's daughter's getting married. I don't know if anybody heard this story, but Tipper and Al are going to reunite at a wedding this this summer. Hey, there's love in the air. There's love in the air. Even with the glo- global warming and the climate, there's still love in the air. No matter what we do to the air, we cannot get rid of love. There'll always be love. And she must love this man. I don't know if Tipper loves Al that much. Al was pretty rough to her, you know, when she was going through those treatments years ago. I hate to bring that up, but, you know, we, we, we put a lot of faith in this man. A lot of people believe that Al Gore is one of the greatest 
climate uh, gurus that's ever lived in this world. You know, I don't look at him as a climate guru. I look at him as a guy that is a little off track, you know. Let the scientists figure out the climate. They're wrong, too, as far as I'm concerned, most of them. You know, if we, ca- if we can destroy this world, you know, these 7 billion people, if 300 million Americans can be blamed for destroying this world, you know, something's wrong. Science, UN, they're telling us that it's us. We've got to be the ones to change. The United States of America has to be the ones to police the world. Our taxes are going up. Our money's being redistributed. Our faith in the system with gasoline prices at close to $4 a gallon. Why do you think gasoline is so high? It's because of ideas that come from these scientists. Saudi Arabia, they pay 67 cents a gallon for gas in Saudi Arabia. How come we're not paying 60 cents a gallon in Texas? If any cut, if any state in the whole union would be the ones that would charge 67 cents, I would give it to Texas. Because I'll tell you, Texas, they seem to be on a roll right now. And I wish Al's daughter and the husband good luck. On the other hand, Hillary will be a grandmother shortly this summer. People are trying to figure out if this was her doings that Chelsea's pregnant now and she's Her husband was um, standing in the back of the room when Hillary and Chelsea announced this this, uh, event that's going to be happening. Uh, Hillary always wanted to be a grandmother, she said. Well, that's something I I don't know if if, why a woman would would want to be a grandmother, somebody like her, because she's always on the run, you know. And uh, my feeling is uh, she probably will be the one that runs for president, and um, maybe she'll be the first woman president that ever ever has occupied the white house and bill clinton would be the the first man i would say right um cedric what will we call him uh first well, let me see first lady lady gentle, uh, first gentleman i guess i don't know. first gentleman i don't know and let's play another song number five number five uh, playing oh. some little newer songs now for for darren out there should I call Darren? Ah, give him a call if you want. See, see, see if this is if this is check, current. Check current it out if he's got us on. All right, <laughs> he might be sleeping. He's out in Texas. Texas is a. Uh, I think they're an hour behind us, but big state. Houston's booming, they say. Ah, New York City's booming too. Limes are a dollar fifty each now in New York City. Just a dollar fifty for one lime. There's a lime shortage. <laughs> they say the bars are going out and. Giving free drinks if you bring your lime with you. Amazing. Because of Mexico, 97% of the limes produced in this hemisphere are produced in Mexico. There's been a drought there. There's been something wrong with the... with the. Um, uh, speaking of a house, you know, my house was in New York. I lived upstate New York, 70 miles north of the city. Yeah, I love to talk about that time when I lived... When songs like this were playing in the 60s, Crosby, Stills, Nash. The old days, the good old days of America. America, the greatest country in the world. I can't say it enough. Can't say it enough. I told uh, I told Darren that you've graduated to, to playing music from the late 60s now. <laughs> is, is he on the phone? Yeah. Uh, put him on. We'll play it, let him hear the music. So. <laughs> Play it up a little. You don't want to hear me anyway. Hey, Phil. Hey, Darren. We're in the 60s. What do you got there? What's this? The monkeys? What do you got going <laughs> no, on there? <laughs> no, not the monkeys. The monkeys are uh, the monkeys are all in New York City. <laughs> this is um, Crosby, Stills, Nash. Don't you remember them? <laughs> Crosby, Stills, and Nash. <laughs> hey, Darren. Uh, That's the... A- we're getting warmer, Bill. I we're getting close. You, we're getting we're, getting, we're working our way up to the uh, to the uh, what is it? 2014. <laughs> I don't know any cities. Give us a song. We'll play it if you give us one. Give, give. I, I, I gotta th- I gotta think of some songs about while I talk to you. Hey, Bill, have you heard? You know, have you seen the press about all the inflation talk that they've been talking about on the news? That now suddenly there's some inflation. There's been inflation for the last five years. 
Who are I know. you guys kidding? I thought Texas was doing fine, you said. You told me Texas is okay. We, You know, we feel bad for you Floridians <laughs> down there sometimes because uh, we, 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 we just don't know. We're lucky that we have uh, the oil and gas industry. And, uh, you know, that keeps us going. And, and um, I really think that other, other states should, should really look at what, what Texas is doing and the amount of jobs and the, you know, quality of living. The quality of living is Are you docking Florida? Fantastic. Are you saying Florida's no good or what? I'm, I, I, I love, you know, Bill, I love Florida. With, with, yeah, Cedric, Cedric, what do you think of? years in Florida. Yeah, Cedric, what he thinks. Because, you uh, know, Florida? Florida. What does Cedric think of Florida? Uh, he's he's a native. I think, well, yeah, I, I mean, I, wow. I, I wouldn't necessarily leave, but <laughs> but I, I have I have heard great things about Texas's yeah. economy. Yeah. I mean, you know, if, if I got the right job offer in Texas, I'd probably go there. Yeah, we could bring the station down there and bring and work for you, uh, Darren. Do you ha- do you have yeah. anybody that owns a radio well, station? We'll pack well, the Saturn and the Cadillac, and we'll come on down to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> we can stay. With, we can stay with you and your your uh, your your family, right? You'll feed us. You're gonna bring the you're gonna bring the radio circus here and. <laughs> Houston, Texas. I don't know if I'm conservative Let's enough go. for Houston. I might not be conservative, but a lot of conservatives. And I don't know if I have a gun. Do you carry guns yeah. in Texas? They carry them in Georgia sure now. Do. They carry the guns. You, you know, they taking they're, they're slaughtered up there in Georgia. They're taking guns to church up in up in Georgia. They say. <laughs> I, I bet you there's no trouble in them churches anymore. What do you think? Bill? Well, I never I never saw a lot of trouble in church any time I've ever went. Most people don't go to church anymore. That's the trouble with the country. Maybe you're not listening to the news now. They're starting, you know, that yeah. everything is in, in, in jeopardy. Everything. And, like, uh, but like, the real thing is this inflation and how they just suddenly le- let this out. But if you see the cost of a tomato and measure how much that co- that one tomato cost five years ago to today, you- you'll see inflation. And now all of a sudden they're saying there's inflation. Wake up, America. Le- Wake le- up. Le- limes like, are. Cochran, Wake up with the music, Phil. Limes are $1.50 in New York City. $1.50 for a lime. One lime. For a lime. One lime. I don't know what a lemon costs, but uh, that's, uh, that's because lemons are a lot bigger. They're probably three dollars, but they're having a lot of trouble making the margarita or all those drinks. You know, they use limes with and the Corona beer. It's a big thing up in New York City. You know, the mayor is trying to get rid of the ponies down in the park. You've heard that story, right? That's, I saw the mayor on the View. There, I thought I uh, saw a little clipping yeah. of him being on the View. That yeah. was quite funny. But yeah. uh, I mean, it's just plain obvious, and you know. I guess the, the the thing that I want to say is wake up, wake up, and let, let's let's change this this situation because when you know uh, the inflation is the way, the way it is, we're just printing money. We're printing money out of nothing. You know, a common dumpster guy like myself can tell you that's wrong. Well, you know, that, you, you know and and I know, but how do we change it? That's that's why we're talking about it. You know, hopefully um, things will change back to the. The way maybe it used to be, no. but you know we 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 can't keep going forward if we don't stop and uh, smell the roses, like you said. You know, wake up, right. wake up. And that's what that's why I you know I, I I got a caller like you because you're from the younger generation, that generation that's going to be uh, carrying on this country. You know, in the in the next um, few years. You know, I but, I play the old songs, but I also I'm old school myself. You know, I I can't think like. Like a guy like you, all I can say is where I've been and how I grew up. You know what happened? It was it was better. You know, I think. Well, you know, I fear that the the, the even you know I, I'm 36 years old, and I fear they're not listening. I fear that my generation isn't listening. They're not seeing the obvious, and they're being told some kind of uh, crazy, you know, something to. Well, I, I just can't. We can't see the obvious. And and that is the problem, and I am really scared for this country. I'm, you know, it's more more for Florida than for Texas. Well, how is Texas? I, um, why why do you now? Texas is part uh, part of the but, country, but it's you know it's I, it's doing better. I know. I I, I believe you. I do believe you. Oh, Bill, the best Mexican food besides going to Mexico. Oh, <laughs> the Mexican food is phenomenal. How much it's is phenomenal. a lime? Though? How much is a lime? Because they come from Mexico, I guess, the, the, lime, the limes. The, li- 
You know, they're still giving limes to the tacos, the best tacos you ever had. Come to Texas. I'll come, come visit. To Texas. No, no, but, but you know how my heart is. I love the, the beautiful the beautiful beaches, the Sand Key, Clearwater Beach. Yeah. You can't yeah. beat that. You can't beat that. The uh, Panhandle, local yeah. beach. Yeah, I oh, hope I hope they Lauderdale. I hope they get the space program back too, so you can Florida. you know you can bring that space program back. That would hey, really help. But you know, well, we isn't Florida a part of that space program? A big part. Well, we got to we got we got to get the the administration um, to change their mind because in a couple of years we're going to have a new president, and you know, hopefully it won't be another Democrat because I think they've they've ruined us. You know, the last five, six, seven, eight years. You know, and I, I think a Republican should go into the White House my, this year. Yeah, you know, I, but yeah, I think we have to, be, you know, take a look in the mirror, you know, and, and we're 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 a people of character, and we're strong, we're hardworking, and that that a lot of that has disappeared. You know, we're hungry to work, and we're hungry to succeed, and and and, and oil and gas will help us succeed, and one day we'll be off of oil and gas, but give us a chance. Yeah, give give, us, give us that's a good that's a good um, good good thought, Darren, and give us a chance. And I'm going to let you go because I got to get on to a couple other things. But thanks thanks for calling, and um, I hope you and your family are doing well. Okay, thanks, Bill. Okay, thanks, Darren. Um, you know he's right. He's got a lot of ideas. He's he's a in the mid 30s, and and uh, you know I don't know what kind of a. Um, country's going to be like in in 20 years if it continues to go the way it is i just don't think we can continue to survive in this environment uh as, as we are i mean there are people making money there are people doing well there are uh the richer getting richer um it says in the in the news this this week that canada has passed our middle class and you know they use different reasons why canada has has uh past the middle class in this country mostly they blame the rich they blame the the rich um, and the super rich that they're not sharing their money but i'd say in canada there's probably rich people there too and and so they're a little bit above us but you know i don't believe that anyway they say it is but i don't know if i believe the everything i read in the new york times in fact i don't believe much of what i read in the new york times uh, but it, this was in the wall street journal and it came from the new york times that says that the canadians uh, have a have a bigger or uh, uh, more, uh, they're the they're worth more than us now. You know, our middle class, but we are hurting. There's no question about it right now. The jobs aren't there. People aren't working right now. There, there's all kinds of people on unemployment. There's all kinds of people that aren't going to work anymore. They're they're living off the system. They're living off the the um, government. The government doles out the the food stamps. They they give out the um, the health insurance, and and now um, our president. Uh, has passed had this um, law passed with Obamacare, which is which is just not going to work. There's nobody nobody thinks it's going to work, but him. He's about the only one that that thinks it's going to work, and he really doesn't have to worry about it because he'll get he'll get health care for the rest of his life just because he's he's president, and then he should he should. But what about the ones that um, need the the doctors and need the nurses, and when all the doctors leave and and they don't they don't want to put up with this law this 2200 page law i mean we hear about it but we seem like we're sleeping right now in this country and uh, we need to wake up and uh you know and get the get the um the country moving again you know and years ago we 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 just seemed different it just seemed different it doesn't seem like it was that long ago that we were different and um uh Cedric, can you play number number um, two? That song number two. When you get a chance. It's so important to make someone happy. Now well, we got another. Make just one. One politician happy. knocking another. Make right just now, we just got over the sink and jolly bashing. You know, Jolly won, but his wife's not very happy. She's not, I mean, the wife of um, who he replaced, you know, Young. She's not very happy. She says he fired all the staff. Well, he's a Republican. And I don't know him that well, but I know um, the Young family's a little upset. They're not happy. And now Charlie Crist is back in the news. Here's what he said about our governor. 
Scott. He stole from people. His company did a ton. Made him a wealthy man. Well, okay. I've got my record, and you've got yours on ethics. We're good. He's not. That's Governor Christ referring to the governor's $1.7 billion fraud fine paid by him. Well, he paid the fine. Charlie Christ, have you ever done anything wrong? I mean, are we going to continue to have bashing in this politics, you know, just continue to get worse and worse? Who's better? Who's worse? But who is American? You're both Americans. You know, let's get civil. The people are looking for leaders today. And if Governor Christ, you want to lead this state again, you know, be happy. Make somebody happy. I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of a, a a conundrum right now in this in this country. You know, we we've got um, a beautiful beach down here. You know, we've got people coming to the beach. I went over there the other night, and it was packed. I mean, people were over there swimming till dark, and uh, you go to the mall, and it's packed with cars, and people are in the malls, and and uh, I mean, maybe it isn't as bad as as I'm as I think. You know, I would just as soon be here saying everything's good, but I just don't see it as good. I don't I don't see things going on over in the Ukraine as good. I don't see the the um, the Russians um, moving into Ukraine and and us giving them threats, and they don't seem to listen, and they don't seem to want to you know do what what the world wants them to do. You know, the world basically wants peace. We don't want fighting. We don't want war. Nobody wants war. But why is this Vladimir Putin on the run? Why is he on the move? He says he's doing it for the Ukraine people, but but I don't believe that. You know, I don't think I believe that. And um what's going to happen over there? You know, what's going to happen over there in the in the near future? And you know, what's going to happen if if um somebody does start shooting at Americans over there? We've got Americans on the eastern part of Europe uh, prepared, I guess they say. We've got men over there, you know, trying to show our strength. And what's going to happen? What's um, President Obama going to do then if something does happen, if there is a conflict? I mean, hopefully there won't be. Hopefully they will be diplomatic enough. And, uh, you know, he's over in Malaysia right now. Maybe he's trying to push diplomacy. And I I just don't know. I I just, um, if you've got a call, give us a call, 727-441-3000 or toll free 1-866-826-1340. And um, I'm going to take a a little, on a little another song there when you get a chance. How about we are the champions? We are the champions. Mm. I paid my dues. Radio stations, you know, um, they're what keep us free. The airwaves, the news, the airwaves, it's even in the Constitution, you know, that the press will be fair. Is the press being fair today? Is the, um, the NBC, CBS, ABC, are they being fair? You know, Fox News, they have their views, but... Is it one-sided today, the press? Because the Constitution was written to protect the people. You. The people. You. You have the ability to listen to stations that you feel are fair and balanced, like Fox News says. You know? I always listen to ABC. I don't, you know, mind. I like Diane Sawyer. and you know, I'm not sure I agree with her politics, but I don't know if everybody on Fox News has the same politics I have. But I'm an American, and I have a choice. And I'm glad there are different uh, radio stations. I'm talking about the lightning right now. What happened to them? You know, St. Louis went up to the Rangers. He's still playing. And I think, you know, I even had his jersey, but I think that he kind of, you know, sold us out. His house is for sale, $1.7 million. He put it on the market yesterday. If anybody wants to buy a house that was owned by one of the greatest hockey players Tampa Bay ever had and probably ever will have. I just think he should have stayed till after the playoffs. You know, maybe we would have had a little better chance. And 
What was with Ryan Malone, you know, with the DUI and the drugs? and What was with him and Bishop? You know, we lost a lot of the key players on that team. And we did go down four to nothing, and they're done for the season. But I believe we're still a champion team. There's always next year. There's always the ability to come back and build a team. Again, they have a good coach. They have a good base. They have Steve Stamkos. They have Hedman. They have a lot of good players. So we still are the champions as far as I'm concerned. You can't win them all. There's only one team going to win the cup. We've won it before, and we can win it again. It's kind of a great game. I love hockey, and I played hockey when I was a kid. I can remember on the ponds up in New York, and, you know, it wasn't as rough as it is in, in the rink. They play pretty rough, those guys, but, you know, they're getting bigger and bigger, and the... Some of the small players are getting hurt more and more. So, but that one goal, I think, was a mistake when we were we were t- denied that goal, you know, in that game. And you know, I think that turned the whole tide of our our team. You know, when we lost. Um, did you were you following the team there, Cedric? Which one? The Lightning. You're not. No, a, I have. I you're, haven't. You're but... Not much of a hockey fan. Yeah. I, well, I'm not much of a sports fan. I, I no, I missed it. You missed it, yeah. Well, we lost, so we're done for the season anyway. And um, there's a lot of Indians over in over in uh, Tampa right now. You heard that about Dollywood? 40,000 40, in, in, people from India over there This at Raymond James Stadium. I think it's tonight. Yeah. So don't drive to Tampa. Don't drive to Tampa. Yeah. What? Well, okay, so the Dollywood thing. Why are you going? I went through Tampa the other night and couldn't get through because they had <laughs> they had the roads all broken, shut down, and they had all these Indian actors from India. I didn't know what kind of Indians they were. You know, they said this, the Indians are here, and and they're all they're all the movie stars from India. They you know they're doing their Oscars, and. Oh, that- uh, yeah, I, I didn't go. I can't. I I don't know. Wouldn't know where to, who who to even see. You know, Bill might be going. Yeah, here's an interesting thing: is is there is there going to be a, a an Indian woman dressed up like Dolly Parton? No, I don't think there's any Indian women dressed up like that. But there's gonna they're gonna have a all the actors are there. All their I guess they got a big uh, movie production company there. There, it's um you know John Travolta is one of the speakers, and you know they got a big big going there. I don't know about Dolly Parton. She's not Indian. <laughs> She's not even close to being Indian. <laughs> she's not. She's anything but Indian. You know, Indians, the, the American Indians, they got, to me, you know, they, they got, uh, we took their land, I guess. The, the white man took their land. But I don't know if they really did take their land. I think, I think it, was a, it was kind of a battle that they were fighting all throughout the, the time they were trying to find, frame this country. But, there, there, you know, there was a lot of uh, controversy on that. I mean, look at Custer. Look at what happened to him. You know George uh, George Custer. They didn't let him out. You know they they uh, they seemed like they there were different uh, tribes that would um, um, kill everybody that got in their way. So, but you know now they've got all the casinos. You know the the Indians they own all the casinos now, and um, um, they got a story here about a landlord in Tampa who. Um, is suing the city of Tampa uh, because they have closed down some of his apartments. And it says that um, in the lawsuit, it says that um, the code enforcement said there was no heat in the rental units. There was no electric. They were There were no smoke detectors, I guess, they, the failure to keep the walls and the ceilings and the floors in safe condition. And the, the, the city has um, four, more than $4.8 million in fines have accumulated for this landlord. So he's filing a lawsuit against them. And so that's going to end up in court. And uh, Mayor Buckhorn, he, sp- he spent the second half of the last year vig- vigorously campaigning to highlight code violations in several n- neighborhoods in Central and East Tampa. So, you know, I guess people got to live somewhere, but I think these were mobile homes, a lot of them, but uh, I, I don't think that people, 
they need to live somewhere. And um, I, but I think they should have heat anyway. I mean, I, I lived in houses with no heat at times, and you know, but you, but you had a fireplace, you know. <laughs> and the Indians, they lived in houses with no heat, right? And so, and there's you don't need a lot of heat in Florida, right? My, my house has no heat. <laughs> you got no heat. Well, that's no. one of the violations. He's got the million dollar um, a, a fine against it and you know this is just one more thing where the state or you know why four million dollar fine i mean how's he ever going to pay that so what he's doing he's fighting back and i don't know who's going to win probably nobody but it's going to it's going to end up in court and uh um <clears throat> let's play number four mm-hmm. 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 oh yeah hang on hang on I should I should mix it up one of these times and and do the uh Yeah, I guess I'll do the Sinatra. I'll Did do Darren the give you any 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 songs to play? He didn't. No. He never gave me any songs to play. Yeah, let's do the Sinatra version. Oh, by the way, you had a caller uh who did did not wish to go on the air. Okay. That's who I was on the phone with earlier and they uh they took issue with your uh with your New York Limes story, they, they said that they, they do not believe that limes cost that much in New York City. And he said wow. he said that he's going back to New York, and when he goes there, he's gonna he's gonna buy a lime and tell us how much it cost. Yeah, well, it was in the paper. I just read it. I know. I, I just mean, read I, the story. I don't. I don't. I don't make things. I can't make it's things. Set, I can't make things like that up. It says <laughs> the price of limes has, has jumped nearly five hundred percent as from the New York Times. Yeah. Well, I, he, I, I, he, hey, Mike Arnold read it too. But our caller said that he 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 guaranteed me that he's he's going to go up to New York and buy a lime. When is he going? Uh, I think next week. Maybe I'll go with him. He probably buy a lime, and he can maybe he should take some limes with him. Uh, you know, if he took some limes, he could probably make some money. But I don't think they do they grow limes in Florida. It sounds like you oh, can only get them well, from Mexico. It's, it says. Oh, I don't know Mike, that much Mike, about Mike lime. Arnold. Says we're not growing limes here anymore. No, but I, I, I do <laughs> have a lime tree in, in my backyard, though. I know they have Lyme disease. Yeah. They have Lyme disease in New York. It's come out of Lyme, Connecticut, where that, that tick, that deer tick. And most people in the area I'm from at Poughkeepsie are getting Lyme disease. Have you ever so, have you ever been bitten by a tick? Never. No, Ugh. but my daughter has, and I, I got my sister has, and you know because they're they they fall off the deer. They're called deer yeah. ticks. But now the, the tick the tick gets up inside your 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 um, flesh, and then they got to pull oh, yeah. it out, kind of. I, no, I, I've never. I've I, never. You I, have? Yeah, yeah. Where? Uh, I went. I went camping at a at a music festival in Tennessee, oh. and when I got back home to Florida, I went to take a shower, and there it was. And what'd you do? Did you? I, I you yanked it? it out and 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 set it on fire. No, I, I yanked it out and I, and I crushed it. Yeah, they say you got to burn them. That's yeah. the only way you can, or they regrow or something. Yeah, I, I but, yeah, I yanked but, it and smushed it. I think, you know that fellow that called. If he calls back, I mean, maybe he's right. Maybe you can't believe what's in the news. You can't always believe it, you know. And if he goes to New York, maybe limes will be less money by then. Maybe there'll be a. Somebody will invent a lime. I mean, I wish I, I could get a dollar fifty for a lime. I can remember when oranges were not that expensive, but they're getting expensive as well. You know, milk for twenty nine a gallon. I, I, you know, I went to a, a gas station, Seven Eleven today. Got four twenty nine for a gallon of milk, and then I went into Walgreens up the road, but I'd already bought the milk, and it was three twenty nine a gallon. So they mm. could have saved a buck. You know, it's got it's easy to lose a buck. You know, in the stores today. Uh, especially with gasoline, you know, when you think about gasoline for three and tarp and three eighty five a gallon in, in up there, but then you go to Largo and it's three fifty nine a gallon. So I don't know. I I was hoping maybe I'd make a dent in that um, drop, getting the prices drop, but it's gone up since I started the show. So I'm not. Darren told me not to talk about gasoline anymore. I don't think it means means. He any, told you not to talk about. He, ga- so wait a said, minute. So you said, can't play old music. You can't talk about <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> What can you do? Well, I don't know. We got. I want to get some new songs. I I asked him to give us. Will you give me a song? You you play one of your. Uh, I don't like new songs. Oh, 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 you. <laughs> I don't think I like a song. I don't like a new song that's come out since uh, since nineteen uh, nineteen eighty eighty three or eighty two. Probably. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, how about Aretha Franklin? What's that one? Respect. Is that yeah. Aretha Franklin? Let's get that song. That, we'll we'll dedicate that one to Darren. We'll play that one for Darren because. He's not giving me any respect. It's uh, <laughs> gotta love it. Aretha Franklin, Ni- 1960s it must be Motown. Again.
down. <laughs> no. I, that was in the Blues Brothers, that song. Remember? I don't know if you saw the Blues Brothers. I thought it was Think. Oh, well, that I guess was she Think. Did, yeah, it, might she have did been, it might have been both. I don't know. You were Think it was Think. Oh, I know they uh, did Think. This one goes out to you. All you people out there in, in America. This is what we've got to do to the politicians. If we want to keep them happy, we got to respect them. Remember, one day, <laughs> they might be... They might be really telling you what to do if you keep it up. You know, they're they're going to be the rich and the poor in this country. I mean, I don't think there's going to be any middle ground if we don't watch out. I mean, that's what's happening all over the world. Just take a trip down to Venezuela or maybe a trip over to Russia. Even go to New York City where you got to pay $1.50 for a lime, okay? And they want to get rid of the ponies in the park. And the other mayor wanted to get rid of the big sodas. You know, you went 16-ounce soda. Is that respect? You know, isn't that funny? <laughs> I remember thinking when Bloomberg was in, Yeah. I remember thinking, man, it can't get any worse than this guy. <laughs> it just can't get any worse. And yeah. then de Blasio got in, and it's like, yeah. wow, it really can get worse. Well, he's only been in for a few weeks or something. <laughs> he's already working on the... He's going all over. He's got a vendetta against everybody in that city. I don't know what, what happened to him when he was little, but he must have gotten some problems in elementary school you know because he's angry he's really angry he's worse than christy who who had the traffic jam you know and then he told everybody in in the on tv that he never knew about the traffic jam well i'll tell you everybody that was in that traffic jam but you know most politicians they they tend to be able to stretch the truth pretty good that's why they're politicians Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know i think i think that what's going on in new york is like a it's like new york is like a, a microcosm of of you know the United States is with the problems. You know, yeah, like too many, too many regulations and rules, and you, you know, it's like what, what is legal? Seems like you know you can't do this, can't do that, can't have a big soda, can't smoke, can't, yeah. can't laugh, can't do this. Uh, let me check your bag. Let me check your pass. Let me check your papers. Can't it, have a horse in the street. And it's getting worse. Ah, the horse. He's got another plan. You know, he he was against. He was. He was for the horses before he got elected, but then when he got when he got the um, the nod and he won, going in he had told some anti horse activists or whatever they are anti carriage activists they they wanted to get rid of the horses, so he's he's fulfilling his promise to them, and he wants to pay a million dollars to each of the fifty six or sixty five carriage owners, million dollars each. I mean that that's enough to make you make you. Get rid of your horse and your buggy. You know, you know that's it. <laughs> million, I'm, million I'm, bucks. I'm moving up to New York and I'm going to run for mayor. You sh- well, you probably. Well, I don't know if you'd win. You, you gotta. You might win. You, you probably got to pay your dues up there, and you know you you got to be um you got to be pretty savvy up. I got I got to find a sponsor for my for my political campaign. Well, they're they're <laughs> probably out there. Maybe Artie Fletcher. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you don't think he's listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Crazy Duck, a crazy, Cra- yeah, crazy there you go. duck. I'll have, He's good. I'll have Crazy he, Duck. He can I, get the sponsors. He said it's easy to get sponsors. If I, if I can get Crazy <laughs> Duck to sponsor my political campaign, I will be the next yeah. mayor of New York City. I'd like to get anybody to sponsor. I wouldn't want to be. You don't want to be a politician. You're too good. For, you got a too kind of a heart. I want to be. I want to be <laughs> the mayor of St. Petersburg. Do you really? Yeah. yeah why? Been, or maybe <laughs> I, I. I've had daydreams about being on the St. Petersburg City Council before. Oh. I, I think. I think I could win that. What would you do with the pier? Would you build a new pier? I, or I would, knock it down. No, nah, I'd, I'd keep it there. I'd, yeah. I'd send out. I'd send out some Mexicans with some paint. And, yeah. and uh, why do they got to be Mexicans? You could because it's because it sounds funny. That's <laughs> that's well, why. That's because why. they're the only ones that want to work. Hey, there you go. That's right. There that's that go. was the answer. I mean, they're they're working. They're, All right, fine. No. I, how about this? How about this? You and me, we paint the bridge. We'll, we'll get we'll get a six pack. Yeah. And we'll get get some safety harnesses, and we will go, and we will single handedly uh, ourselves paint paint the pier i don't think you could pay us enough to do that they wouldn't let us do that they don't want us down there well and that's you know. that's what you, I would we do. don't work for the city you got to get a city job you got to get tenure you got to get the benefits i mean you know the trouble also with america today is we pay we pay these bureaucrats too much we pay all i mean look at the city like just for instance the fire trucks i mean you see an accident you see 10 fire trucks go by right you see you see one ambulance but they're and they, you know I guess they got paramedics in the fire trucks I hope but and they they crowd the road 
and and you see a fender bender, you yeah. know, and you wonder who pays for all that. Yeah, now if you really want to get into it, St. Petersburg, the Parks Department, mm -hmm. I've had friends who work for the St. Pete Parks Department, mm -hmm. and they make a lot, I mean, they, some of them are making more than, than doctors. I mean, there's people in the Parks Department who are just raking it in. They are, and this this county commissioner that just went out, uh, uh, Stahl, I think is his name, I can't think of his name, but he was making 220000 a year. Two hundred twenty thousand dollars a year, and the new guy's making one hundred and seventy. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd do it for fifty if if they if I you know. But maybe I'm not as smart as him. You probably got to be pretty smart to be able to just get a salary like that, let alone run a big city like a county like Pinellas County. You know, they're charging. Um, like for instance, we have a a, a fundraiser up in uh, we're using Fred Howard Park, uh, a, an organization. I mean, I don't not going to say the name, but we have an or, we have a every year we have a um, event. And uh, used to be able to use Fred Howard Park for free. We, we're, we'll be there about two hours, maybe three hours in the morning. And the county's charging us $5,000 just to use the park. And the money that we make will give away. But the county, Pinellas County, is That's, charging $5,000. I'd find somewhere The whole else event to go. might make fifteen or twenty. So that we got to give, instead of giving it to the kids, instead of giving it to scholarships, instead of giving it to anybody but the Pinellas County Commission, and, and we've tried to deal with them and and, and uh, they won't they won't deal they won't budge i'd they, find somewhere else to go well they got it they got it this event uh i, I don't want to say yeah, it yeah, because yeah, i yeah. might rub yeah, some, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know then they might not even let us use it i understand know? then i'll probably get kicked out of the I club understand. but but still you know they 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 do what they want they hardball people like four point all my point was with this guy four four million dollars they want they probably want his property he probably has a nice piece of property it's like out west with that that those cows and and that that crazy farmer out there you know oh, did i mean you see, i did heard you what see? he said you know he's stupid to say something like that i mean why would a guy say well, you know that? what it you was know, like talking about cotton and all that i mean everything everybody loved him up until now yeah, now you know nobody what it, likes you know him. what it was is and i'll I, I shouldn't i shouldn't get political or anything well, that's not political he, he, what, what he said was was ridiculous and, yeah. and stupid but i i under understand what he was trying to say what he was trying to say that that you know could have been much more delicately delicately put is do you think people were you know are, were better off being enslaved or where they are sort of still enslaved now he could have put it like that is is what we have is 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 a different form of slavery where you you know you get your hand out but you're not really given any opportunity to to grow or, or go anywhere and, and it's, it's a lot of people still especially uh, minorities are still sort of enslaved in that respect that you know they're never given a chance to well, I, don't, I don't know how he came about with that statement but um the the the, the point being that i can see is harry reed wants to have um windmills there or solar farm there on that land that's what somebody said and, and there's always going to be a a reason for this i mean you know to send all those people in there with guns and and then the other then the other regiment comes in with their guns and everybody's shooting you know and there's so one day it's going to get out of hand because even in georgia you know i believe in that i believe in gun we should have be able to have our arms our guns and everything but i don't think people should be taking them to church i mean it, well I don't think that used to be pretty pretty sacred ground in a church. At least you would think so. Well, but, I understand not wanting and in a bar. I understand. No, th I understand not wanting them in bars because bars. I mean, I mean, what do you do when everybody gets yeah. you know you, you drunk drunks and and guns don't yeah. mix. No. Yeah. Yep. No, definitely not. Mm. Uh, seven two seven four four one three thousand. If any of these subjects uh, strike your fancy, I mean, come on, we're getting controversial here. I just wow, well, we're trying not just, to. We're just kind of. <laughs> and it's Friday. <laughs> it's been a rough week. You got to stir the pot. No, up. but it's been a you rough. You got to stir week. the pot a little bit. Yeah, well, it's been a real rough week for for Cedric because I know he lost uh, his mentor, his friend, he, his boss for many years. I didn't know Dave very well, but I, I know there's been uh, you know he was he was a man that had a lot of integrity and he had a lot of friends in this area and and and, and Der Cedric was one of the you know the people that are coming in and and. Uh, it's just it's to lose a man like that. It 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 shows that life does eventually end, no matter who we are. You know, we we we. I lost my dad when he was only fifty nine, and but it, it was thirty years ago. But it seems like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've all had relatives we've lost, and mm -hmm. and and we we you know we we mem remember Dave, and you know he gave me a book uh, when I first uh, started here when I came in his book, and 
that one I've read it. I've read it in uh, about bartering in a great book, and even I asked him to sign the front of it. You know, and he 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 put good luck. And uh, but you know, it, it it's uh, it's a guy that he probably had a big impact on your life, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, very very intimidated by him at first. Um, you know, until I realized that he he wasn't so you know he wasn't you know, some cranky old man. He was a really nice guy, very young at heart and, uh, and, you know, very, very cogent, uh, up and up until the end, you know, he, uh, that's, that's what makes it so tragic. I mean, sometimes you'll see a, a person who's in their eighties or nineties or, or whatever, and they die and they're delirious and they're, they're really not even there. You know, they're a shell of their former self. That's not how it was with Dave. You know, Dave was, Dave was all there upstairs and, um, that mm-hmm. that just makes it even more tragic because he had he had a lot more to to offer, you know. Well, and you're going to carry on a lot of his uh, tech. You you know you learned a lot. You learn from people. That's that's how life is, especially today with with people your age. Um, we don't have a lot of heroes anymore in this country. We don't have a lot of people that we can we can really look to. And 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 it, like I said about Reagan, he was kind of like a hero to me, even though I was a little older. I was in my twenties at the time when I met him, but. But he was. I looked at him and said, "He's a pretty good guy, you know." And he seemed like he he had a smile that you couldn't get over. Now, Bill Clinton, you know, I shouldn't have said that about my daughter. She, I thought she might have called and explained what. what oh, she, do I have her number? I can. <laughs> yeah, you, I can give her a ring roll. Yeah, uh, she might not. Five zero four or five one two. Yeah, I don't okay. think it's on there, but. Um, uh, you know, she 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 just met him, and she said he, he kind of held her hand, and he he kind of looked. You know, she was kind of a little intimidated by him, I guess. You know, but I don't I don't know. I mean, you know, she was probably I, just I, just the fact of meeting the president it would intimidate yeah, anybody. I think I think it would. Yeah, and he he always had a pretty a pretty looked like a pretty sincere smile to me. You know, and I think he did good for the country in his own way. I don't know what Hillary's going to do good. I, I feel know. I feel your pain. <laughs> Yeah, we feel, and he's still out there. You got to figure he's still going. Very popular. Go, he's, I don't Very. know how he does it. I mean, he's 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 you know he's jolly. And um, why do you play that number one, number one right now? Ah, uh, yeah, sort of wonderful. I don't know if we this. played that already. Or no, we not. haven't. Yeah. Oh boy, what a wonderful world. This drops the blood pressure. You can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> drops drops straight like in. a balloon. It's like a wonderful world that we we live in. You know, it's. It's hard to do things, you know. Hard to come in here and sit behind a microphone and talk to a country that looks like they might be okay. And tell them that you live in a wonderful world. America is a wonderful place to live. They can talk about Canada. They can talk about Hawaii. Well, oh, well, that's part of America. Never used to be, but it is now. But deep down in America, there's a heart. The heart runs from the Atlantic all across the country to the Pacific, down the coast, across Texas, back to Florida and up to the Canadian line. The heart's beating. Beating a little soft right now. Uncle Sam has no business being in health care. There's no reason for the federal government to try to make a country better. The federal government's job is to keep a country safe. Keep a country strong. Keep a country from letting anyone, anyone, take over this great country. Yes, it is a wonderful world to be an American. I say that from experience. God bless America. That was pretty deep, but it's true. I, I, I feel that. That uh, that way about this country, and you know, I don't think we are doomed. I mean, 
you know, in Venezuela, the, the inflation is 59% right now, mm. 59%. And in, in, um, in uh, Malaysia, it's high. You know, all over the world, I mean, France, uh, China's hurting right now economically. You know, they're hurting right now. Um, now, now we got we got General Electric wants to go to France and buy this huge power company that's almost bankrupt. But we, but, but our our people want to mix this globe, and they want to bring America into this global. Uh, I mean, we're in it now, but maybe we shouldn't keep going that way. Maybe we should try to depend on these resources that we have in this country. I mean, we have enough uh, trillions of pounds natural gas up in the North. Dakota and and you know uh, a pipeline that could have come down out of Canada that could be being built right now the Keystone pipeline is on hold until after the elections and and, and there's no reason all the jobs it might have created and all the money it would have not only given us uh, but but as but Canada as well and, and so we stiff the Canadians you know who one of our few friends we have left in the world and we run all the way to Malaysia and and, and we go to the Ukraine and 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 we know that Putin uh, he wants the he wants the grain. He wants the wheat. He's got the oil. He wants the, he wants that's that feeds Europe. The Ukraine is where they get the wheat and the grain for Europe, and nobody's saying a thing. John Kerry, he he throws these little threats to him. He he he, he and then and then you know Hillary yesterday she said the worst thing she ever did. It was Benghazi. She's saying that was her biggest mistake. And, you know, she sat here and told us all Americans that, that there was a movie or, a, or something that it, that's made these terrorists go in there and kill that ambassador and the other three and, and led us along that that's why the up, knowing that it was terrorism. She knew it was terrorism. She lied. What, the reason she's upset is because everybody knows she lied. You know, President Obama lied when he told us we could keep our doctors. They're upset because the news media's not saying he didn't lie. They they can't because he did. We're not keeping our doctors in health care. Now, Americans, in November, you can make a big difference. You know, if it were up to me, I'd, I'd start all over with all of them. But it's not up to me. You know, it's, it's, it's the cleaning of a house. The House of Representatives needs to be cleaned. The Senate needs to be changed. The presidency... Two years from now needs to be changed as well. But limit the power of the president. Limit his power. Stand in that executive branch. Don't move into the judicial. Don't move into these executive orders, President Obama. Don't do it to us. You can't keep doing it to us. If you do, you're not going to get away with it. You're going to get caught again. You're going to find out. People are going to find out. Feel the heart of this country, President. Feel us. Feel our pain. We want to work. We want jobs. All through the elections, all people talked about was jobs, jobs, jobs. Well, there's not the jobs. What happened? What happened? Why are we even talking about jobs anymore? You know, they're, they're, I don't, I don't know if you can continue to feed people with food stamps and, mm. And, 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 and I don't think that, you know, it's going to, we're going to, with 16 trillion in debt, 16 trillion. I mean, that's a lot of money. And, and yet we could be self sufficient. I mean, Texas is doing good. Um, Florida's doing good. Uh, Wisconsin's doing okay. New York's not. I don't know about Massachusetts, but New York is not, is definitely not doing good because they spend the money quicker than they get it. You know, let's play that. But let's, let's close it out with one more song. I, you know, I like that Beatles song. You know any other Beatles songs? How about I want to hold no, we, you? I want to hold. Do, oh, I want to hold your hand. I, oh, like I, was, that. I thought you were going to say do the tax man. The tax man. No, no, I'm tired of taxes. <laughs> tax taxes are over. You know, there's no more taxes till next year for people. Anybody that made money, you know, if you if you made money, you, you got to pay the tax man. Yeah, that's a good one. Can you find that? Yeah, hang on one second. I thought you were tired of it. Hang on, I got the I, Beatles. I like the Beatles. The Tax Man. Yeah. Okay. I got a note from a man standing in here. He signed the apoc- apocalypse in Pennsylvania, parts of Pennsylvania. He says all all responding ambulances to an accident charge victims insurance 
not just ambulance that transported victims oh, to the hospital. Wow. You wow. know, I have to say the Sunstar ambulances here were very reasonable when they when I was taken uh, to Bayfront uh, in an emergency situation. I think they only charged me like seventy five dollars for the ride. Wow! Yeah, it was it was the it was the cheapest bill that I got of of the entire incident. Wow! Huh? I've never been in an ambulance. Knock on wood. It was not fun. No, what, but, oh, that was when you hurt your arm. Yeah, when motorcycle accident. They spent 15, 15 minutes on the way to the hospital trying to find a, a vein and didn't. Wow. It was not fun. Wow. Let's play that. Let's let's cut this song. What is that? The tax man? Yeah, it's a tax. The ta- <laughs> All right. How much time we have left? We're getting close, right? Yeah, we're getting up to the wire. We got about two minutes. Ah, two minutes. Play, let's play Jimmy Durante again. I just want to give go off. You, with you, you want to make someone happy? Yeah, we'll try to make somebody happy anyway. Are no. you happy? I'm not, I'm not that happy, but I'm happy. <laughs> Happy that we only got two minutes. <laughs> I don't know how guys do three or four hours. You know, it's kind of a, but it does go by pretty quick. It yeah, does make someone happy. Jimmy Durante sounds like yesterday. It's you know, so I remember going across the the Long Island Sound, the Block Island, in in a ferry boat. You know, they had a big problem over in Korea with that boat. You know, all those kids, all those kids have gotten drowned over there. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. Our heart goes out to South Korea. All those kids that drowned in that ferry boat. They were heading out to some event, I guess, for... So sad. Always will be problems in the world. There's always going to be tragedies. Always. But let's make the world a little better so we don't make tragedies happen. Right now, we have a chance in the world to bring about a peace. Let's quit worrying about the global climate. Let's quit worrying about the, all that nonsense that the scientists tell us to worry about. Let's try to make each other happy. Not just in the United States. Not just in Canada. But in Mexico. In um, South America. England. France. Let's make them happy. America, you are the ones... That have always been the leaders in the world. Hey, we rebuilt Japan. MacArthur went up into Japan. America rebuilt. Helped rebuild Europe. It's amazing what this country has done. It's amazing what this country can continue to do. To make someone happy. So that like Louis Armstrong said, it can be a wonderful world. Because let's face it, we're in it for a while. But for now, let's carry on. We closing out? Yeah. Ten, ten seconds? Yeah, thirty. I started a daily show now, Monday and Monday through Friday from at nine and at noon and uh, two minutes. A moment with well you can announce it, Darren. <laughs> Not Darren. It's, you announce it. Yeah, it's the, You're better at that. It's the only in America out. minute. <laughs> nine AM and noon, weekdays, and sometimes uh, Bill plays it on Saturday, I think. Sometimes because, I hope he does. Because, yeah, because he's a big he's a big Bill Cochran fan. Uh oh, that's good. Yeah, and I'm a fan of his as well because we got the same name. That's right. Can't lose with a name like that. Can't lose. And there, uh, Cedric, I thank you for helping me all through that to help start that program. Yeah, yeah. And, no big uh, deal. We say a, a good night. God bless America, and have a good weekend, Americans. WTAN, Clearwater, Tampa Bay. WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay. WZHR, Zephyr Hills, Tampa Bay. Listen.